This is the Singer Sonata 2210 electronic sewing machine. It has a large number of patterns, stitches which you can choose. Also, unusually for a machine of this type, it also has letters of different type of script. And I'm now going to show you how to use this machine to program a basic word. To thread the Singer Sonata, you take the thread from your spool here, take it across, snap it into the first thread guide here, you hear it click, there you go. Okay, then take up the tension from the other side, make sure it's clicked in properly, take it, take the thread up, and it goes to the right hand side of the channel through the tension guides, that's this side, right hand side, down, then underneath there underneath it, then up through this thread. Okay, so I went up and then over and across there, okay, which is um, the self-threading take-up lever, that's what that's called. You take the thread down and there's two thread guides here. Okay, there's a, there's a looped one and you're going to have to get it into the loop. Get into the loop, I go to the left-hand side of the loop, push it around the loop, right around the loop, and then down you can see it's now through the loop then you're going to have to go into this threading guide here grasp the thread with two hands either side and then put the thread through this little you can see the slot there it'll come back towards you once it's in let go with your right hand let the thread go down it's now ready to, to go in the needle and when you thread the needle it goes from front to back the flat of the needle on this single sonata is towards the back, so if you have to change a needle, the flat of the needle, which is put held in place by this clamp, must face the back, and that's the flat plate at the top. What I need to bring this needle down, you use this here to thread it, and, one, and then I'm ready to thread the needle. I wear my reading glasses to do that and use plenty of light. You then thread the needle from front to back through the little hole there and draw the thread through. Once the thread is through the needle it then needs to go under the presser foot and there's a little guide there as you can see to the side of the presser foot and then it goes to there underneath the presser foot and then lead it away. And any slack on it you can obviously take that up on the spool here if you hold the spool here you can gently take up any excess thread that you've used to threading it here watching the end of the thread to make sure you've got enough left still through the needle. To program a word, for instance, if I wanted to put down the word snow, I would then have to program the letters S N O W, starting with the letter S, which is pattern 28. So I go to the pattern programmer here, and I'm going to want to put 28 in. So that's 20, and then I can go to 28. Then I'd press enter. The next letter I'm wanting is N, which is 23. So again, I've got a two there, so I go, that's it, press enter, then O, 24, enter, then W, which is 32. Then I must press the MRC button to retain the pattern memory. You'll find that it's gone right back to number 28, and I can go through the whole pattern here to 23 which is the N to 24, which is the O to 32, which is a W, okay? Okay, now that's stored, the, stored my um, little short word I wanted to sew onto this piece of felt. And here's the machine then doing the letters. And it actually goes through the numbers that it's doing on the pattern as it's doing them. Once you've got the letters um, spaced correctly, then you're ready to lift your work from the machine and you've got your letter there, snow. Fine adjustment if your letters are too close need to be made with this control which is at the back 
the side of the machine near to where the foot pedal goes in we found that putting the dial to about number 2.5 here and having the stitch width set on the left hand dial to the first setting the stitch length to the third setting seemed to work best for these letters such as snow. Using a stitch ripper you'll then just have to pick out any pieces of thread which join the letters together on the Sonata. In order to make themed gift bags for instance for Christmas you need to have felt or fleece which would match the colour. In this case I've gone for a, a very plain grey felt and using the Singer Sonata and pattern stitches and just your imagination make sure when you measure your bags that you allow for an overlap because obviously you're going to have to put a seam inside here using imperial inches got crosswise it's running at about just over seven inches so in other words I would need a good eight inches wide of felt for the width of this particular gift bag and the length of this gift, gift bag, this particular one which has a, has a sort of Victorian theme to it comes out as you can see there at nine inches and I'd have to allow ten inches so that gift bag was made by me using the Sonata and the patterns are patterns I've selected which you can see from the Sonata itself you can choose what pattern numbers you want to put in and it, the machine will then sew that pattern and you can use a very sharp pencil, HB pencil to lightly make a line and that allows you to feed your thread through correctly so the machine does it correctly on the reverse of your gift bag if you take this one for instance I've also done another pattern like a sort of a leaf pattern going right down the middle now to make it look sort of more authentic if you're doing this for family I would recommend using jute string gives it that sort of Victorian feel and in order to get the string through the top because it's a drawstring bag you're going to have to sew turn your bag over at the top and neatly sew um, a seam but you can also go over, the, go over the seam with a pattern stitch which is what I've done here as well using red thread which picks it out nicely and then in order to get your drawstring to work you need to thread each string through separately and you'll see that naturally there's a gap where you've turned over your bag at one end and another gap where you've turned it over there and to thread it through you just you are going to have to use uh, safety pins basically you put your jute string into the into the eye of a safety pin and feed it through one way all the way around okay so it's formed a loop and then you do the same with the other thread but start from the other end and that way you end up with these two pairs of drawstrings and um, they then create the drawstring bag so there's a good idea for a, a basic gift bag and of course because you can add letters with the Sonata it makes it just a little bit more interesting for the season using a Christmas theme you could for instance make a gift bag with a, a dragon this one here I've used here and you can put pattern stitches around um, which is over his over the scales of the dragon and you can use these little studs you can get the stud machines I've got a little one which then presses in little stud little ruby red stud for uh, the dragon's eye I cut the tail separately on this on this dragon here and then the Sonata is particularly good at these pattern st stitches for bordering for my dragon gift bag here which is in grey felt and then of course using the same sort of similar lettering that I showed you we showed you how to do snow um, we let it snow let it snow and of course on the back of the bag it's always good to have a bit of a pattern as well so you've got a nice fancy pattern stitch running right down the middle you, again using your HB pencil to do uh, lightly and that way you can make sure you've got a nice straight stitch and you, and you can of course buy pencils where you can rub out the marks as well on your fabric and of course I've gone over at the top here you can see because you need to turn the bag inside out when you're making the, the actual innards of the bag here and you've got it's drawn over here and there's your border there and the drawstrings again you see I'm using jute for that 
in this, in this case it was white jute and I shifted over to the more traditional jute and some other themes you could try there's a robin with a gift bag snowflake this is done on a cheaper fleece material um, again using felt which is cut out and glued and a stud put through for, through for the robin's eye and you could use there's a penguin there in the uh, Antarctic on the ice flow with some stars there and you can use stags and sort of a mountain theme there people like to pets I showed you one earlier here's another one with Christmas hat and a nice a dog with a bone and the, and the moon there with stars and, and planets and a galaxy um, another robin that I made there dragons if people like that sort of thing like fantasy themes little dragon gift bags there griffin type dragons people like pets and things got rabbits different types just basic experiments using using the machine so it's another way of using your basic sewing machine to make something a bit fun and a bit different for Christmas <laughs>